Boom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. On time? On time. I mean, basically, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe like 30 seconds or 60 seconds. So you never, never work. Try to do it again. Yeah, re refresh it. Oh, there it goes. See? You're going to write internet. Look, at, look, I'm a little sus. Yeah, I'm going to write internet. Oh, okay, get in. it's getting a little better. This one's good. We're all good. Hey, everybody. Let me see how many people we've got here. Come on, control room. You five. Hello, Debbie. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, hey, Shawana. Oh. Very happy you're here. Hello, Marisol. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just trying to get situated. Yeah, that happens. You got to do that. Hello, hello. Y'all, we need to get some work done. Yes, we do. I took, so I hope they fit in here. Mm. You got to fit it. So the ones <laughs> inside... I need to go get you another bin. The ones inside go in R. Okay. And the ones on top go in the new bin that I gotta go get. Copy that. Okay. But we don't have to start with that. We can start with the mannequin if you want to do some. Do we want to do a sport coat or two? I think we want to do a sport coat or two, and then we have these shirts. Is so the man is the man still dressed? No. Where, no. Okay, that's right. But I gotta. Well, we could do these. Yeah, we could do those too. Those are fast. I need to steam this one, but um. And you could do a flat lay. We don't have to like commit. Just you have to decide what you want to do. What you have to decide. Oh, Shawana says she's so happy to be here. Or she, she calls it her sugars. <laughs> she's been waiting all day to list. Oh man. We're. I think we're. I think we're pretty prepared and ready to go. With all there's a bunch of plush and stuff that's been processed and ready. But you want to do a flat lay? Please? Did you send them code? No, there, it, it hasn't shown up yet. Oh, my lord. I know. It's still not. I don't know what's happening. It's still not here. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's not doing it. Yeah. I mean, we were okay last time. You know. Yeah. All right, we're going to set up the flat lays. We're just going. We're just getting to work. That's what we're going to do. Nice hangers. <clears throat> Lights. Let's just mint green. Well, we're still going. Yeah, right. So we don't have drafts for these, so you're just gonna have to give me, you know, a little bit to catch up. Sure. Um, this t okay. as well. We're gonna list these t-shirts. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Teresa. Oh, Celeste found her first jelly cat today. Oh, yes. Which one? Yeah. Do you know? That's awesome. Again. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, you answer Janice on that phone. I'm trying. <laughs> nope, there's still no code. Should she log in as herself or just like mod in the regular user? Yeah, I mean, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. We'll be just fine, I think. Hello, hello. No one you know is here. Says hi. <laughs> but we know you. That's like a great username. Great. I think you need to be lint roll. Are we okay with the lint roll situation? Sure. 
One joyful closet says hello. That's hello, Janet. hello. That's See, I don't. I'm, my, uh, I can't. My memory doesn't. Sorry. I'll try. Hi, Janice. <laughs> You had a feeling about this shirt. You haven't. We haven't picked up a Royal Robin shirt in a long time. Um. Yeah. Here, can you put some of these over on your rack? Yes. I'm steaming over here. Steaming it. Oh, you guys check out this weird, cool Nightmare on Elm Street shirt. Okay. I guess I can start carrying plush over. And yeah. Put them into the light box. Don't mix them. Okay. Then you're gonna have to look at the tag. No, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Who? Yeah, let us know what's happening over here. Did we find more bolos, uh, more brioni when we went back today? Not today. Um, we did. Yeah, wait. We found one. Here, can you take this? We found one more jacket. Yeah. So there's definitely more there. <laughs> and then we called. And then we called. And ask them if they've restocked any menswear. And they said, not yet, probably tomorrow. So, guess we're going back tomorrow. Oh, Michaela, that's so nice. Thank you. She said, three days without the lives. And I started to notice how unmotivated I am without the lives keeping me account accountable. Same. <laughs> and motivated. Thank you. Yeah, it's like you get used to, like, going to work. So, you know. we. You know what? I've... I've, these are the pants that I found, and I was like, sweet, I found the pants to the jacket, and I, this is the jacket that I thought, and they are different colors, so no. <laughs> uh, we're going back tomorrow to try to piece more of them together. Teresa's listing swimsuits. Debbie's about to list some plush. Carrie said, I thought you said you didn't go back. This afternoon. We didn't go back this afternoon. No, we went back this morning, but we called instead. Right. We were going to go back. Right. We were going to go back, but we called. And that was, I mean, this is awesome. Okay. So Man. Clo clothing was all, what, 40% off from seeing these? Yeah. At least, right? It was 40 today. Okay. You were about to say something? No. No? Okay. <laughs> there you go. Are pants alone something that people will buy? Uh, yes, actually. Anything Brioni. Any, yeah, anything, especially Brioni, will... People, I've sold one pair of Brioni pants on their own before. I mean, having the set obviously will help it... Uh, sell for more money as well so that's why we're we're going back for the, on the hunt <laughs> i'm just gonna see these other while i'm here just keep people entertained oh right. oh thanks no pr so, so. no pressure i cannot tell <laughs> wait let me see if you guys can see me you can see me steaming now <clears throat> steam it steam it steam it so we we tried to get ahead. So yesterday we listed, well, I drafted 25 plush. Mm -hmm. And then Dan uh, listed 20. So we're five ahead right now. And we're going to try to get like five more done tonight so we can be 10 ahead. Oh, Janine's here. Janine! Yeah. Where have you been? <laughs> Amy was freaking out. Y'all, I will come back. <laughs> I have gone looking for Shawana before, and she's like, I'm here. <laughs> 
if you do not make yourself known, I will come looking for you. I'm looking for Jamie right now. She's my next one. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> if you're watching this in the future, I'm looking for you. you check in. I need to know <laughs> all my people is okay. <laughs> or you will get a knock on the internet door. She's not getting a web sleuth this one <laughs> i do too <laughs> i have i'm an empath so if i don't know my people are okay i feel uneasy <laughs> i don't like feeling uneasy i can't be productive come on sleeve work with me all right that's better all right can you take this one i'm trying to go fast okay super <laughs> fast i told you to stall i'm trying to stall i'm You're not, not you were trying to take a picture i was i was trying to <laughs> I'm sorry. This one's on the side. This is the cutest little shirt. Oh. Aloha, everybody. All the new people joining in. Get some work done. That's right. Y'all, what right. about this posh drama? I know, right? Posh drama is craziness. We're kind of out of the loop because we barely sell on posh anymore. Right, that's true. But I remember if this was our first year reselling, we would have been Stressing. all up in it. Stress. Yeah. Boom. That stock dropped by how much? Like a. 70 something percent it, right? it is plummeting it's no bueno i mean i don't know they better get it fixed <laughs> you know this happened with ebay the other you know last time and everybody was all yeah there was a big issue with what they rolled out a new search tool or search algorithm or search something and it it didn't work at all like no nobody's listings were coming up uh people couldn't find anything they were searching for um i don't know are they still trying to fix it Does yeah it... they're trying to fix it they they're still trying to that yeah there's like not very informative right so yeah and i don't then... i don't know for sure amy read all the articles about it but the stock is like <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. okay i need you to lint roll a couple of these too bad i don't list my death pile because uh <laughs> so annoying why didn't i list that it just sat here. I didn't list it. Oh, the steamer's leaking again. Oh, great. No, our steamer. Oh, it's right under the. I'm going to get a lens included, okay? Oh, it's. Well, uh, no, it's fine. That ring light's not plugged in. You're good. You're totally good. Okay. We need to do We need to do a GoFundMe for a steamer or something. Jesus, wait. Okay. This is getting dangerous. All right, I'm back. Here we go. I'm back. All right. Here we go. That kind of explains why checking comps on Poshmark was difficult the other day. Yep, probably, Michaela. You're probably right. Yeah, it, it, it was impossible. I couldn't even check the thrift today. I tried, and I was like, yeah, no. What? no. You type in one thing, and nothing comes up, and it's like the wrong things. Just like, oh, well, thank you. Right? OK. All right, friends. Here right. we go. This is a Royal Robins shirt. Hold on. I need to change the view. Uh-oh. I got you. I got you. I'm in the control room over here. You're in the control room. <laughs> Got it under control. Everything's under control. What is this thing called? Royal Robins. It's Royal Robins. It's extra, extra large. It's a standard fit. Uh, the style number is 71201. Um, it's 80% model, 20% polyester. Button up shirt, man. So these Butter. have um, this brand, Royal Robins. It is it's kind of like an outdoor. It's outdoor hiking. and it used to do better for us, but I did pick this up because it was on sale and um, we haven't sold any in a long time. And I thought, why haven't we sold any? And I looked because we don't have any listed. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Can't really sell any if you don't have them listed. So this brand's kind of like uh, Marine Layer or what's that other brand? Uh, what's that one we're Cricket. Yeah. Where it doesn't sell for a lot, but the sell through rate is pretty high, especially in this kind of a style mm. where it's like outdoor. This modal, it feels kind of feels like microfiber a little bit. Kind of like yeah, yeah. It's a good way to describe it. This style does pretty well, and when we went on our old people cruise, okay, whoa. <laughs> Hold the phone. There were so many people there wearing this stuff. And so we were taking mental notes. Like, oh, so when people go on cruises, they wear this. Yes, Royal Robins and Prana. <laughs> so much Prana. So much Prana. But uh, so much Royal Robins. 
And we're like, whoa, we sell that brand, but we should be selling more of it. Uh, we went on a Viking river cruise. Greatest vacation we've ever been on in our entire lives. No Greatest. Question. Uh, we do have a Jiffy, Tommy, and our Jiffy has bit the Jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> our Jiffy is not so Jiffy anymore. It's old. And it does have a metal uh, metal head, and I think it's just done rusted out. Yeah. Tommy, I think it's rusted out. So I'm either gonna we're either gonna have to replace it, or I'm gonna have to get real, or I'm gonna have to craft a real wordy email to Jiffy Secret. Dan always reaches out to manufacturers, and you will not believe what he gets in return. I <laughs> do not reach out to manufacturers because I have social anxiety, even though I'm talking to strangers on the internet. And he will reach yeah. out. <laughs> he gets like they'll send him free stuff. I would not be surprised if Jiffy was like, take this in and send us the receipt. Okay. We'll take it in. And it was the number of the uh You didn't even have your thing. It's five thousand seven. You're right, I don't even have the uh, the wipey board. Um patented. <laughs> Tommy says, wait, that's terrible. Jiffy is supposedly the best made. That I would reach out for sure. That's why we're gonna reach out. Right. Because, I mean, we didn't buy it firsthand. I mean, I got it second, second hand, so I don't... <laughs> we didn't buy anything firsthand, but we got a Dyson second hand, and by the time Dan was done, they had... Stop, y'all. Listen to this. So we're at, the, we're at the thrift, and there's this Dyson that's an $800 Dyson air filter plus a humidifier, and I needed it so bad for my allergies. I made Dan chase down the cart that came out. It's huge, okay? It's a, it was bigger it's a than big me. big boy, yeah. And I'm like, go get that. So he gets it. But it didn't have a power supply. And it was twelve ninety nine, eight hundred dollar machine. Okay, so he is on the phone every day with Dyson for <laughs> months trying to get this power supply. And by the time he was done, not only did we have a free power supply, but he, they registered it to us in our name. So we got like a and we have a three year, year warranty. Three year, three year warranty. I was like, oh uh, my god, this is amazing. <laughs> I was like, I need to reach out. Right, but then I went, I went to like the Dyson service center here in Dallas to pick up the power supply and the guy gave me attitude because he was like did you get this second hand and I was like well yeah but they, they've registered it he said well you're not gonna have any warranty when after I was like yeah okay <laughs> uh-huh we'll see <laughs> we have a three-year warranty in his name according like to this email from Dyson USA says otherwise <laughs> Dana says she calls people up too. I love it. Call them up. Call them up, man. We got the drip trays for our, all three of our coffee machines. I mean, you know the coffee drama, but we have the drip trays now, and there's none available on eBay, so we could price them like a hundred or two hundred dollars. Those, those drip trays are rare. You cannot work a Flavia coffee machine without the drip tray. They are essential, and if nobody is going to call up the manufacturer fourteen times like Dan did, right? They will pay a hundred dollars for it on eBay. I know it because it's a five hundred dollar machine resale, five hundred dollars. So retail, it was like $1,500 machine, and certainly you'd pay 100 bucks for a, a drip tray, right? Right. I mean, if it was your office coffee machine, think about it. Your whole office going mad because they can't make coffee or <laughs> yeah. like twitching. They're going to pay whatever <laughs> you want. So I think extra, extra large. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's more. Yeah. These large shirts. Is that the hot dog fold it? I gotta just fold it a little, you know. Uh, chest size? 27. Flat. So what is it? 54. Oh, good. Carrie and Melissa are selling on Poshmark. That's good. Here we get Make a kitten, kitten. Kit, kitten cam later. <laughs> No, they're not kittens, but they're young. The foster cats. I don't know. We should probably put them. It'd be funny to put that tan up there. Yes, yeah, so we can watch them while we're in the office, make sure they're not getting into anything. Oh, they will be. Uh, we're we're storing them. Foster. We're putting. What do you think? Home That's housing them. Well, we have an apartment because I think people are maybe worried about Mojo. Oh, right. Yeah. So we have an apartment on our house, a studio apartment that's upstairs where we were living. You probably saw it it's in our. Literally directly above us right now. It's, not, it's attached to our house, but it's not. Okay. It's built to our house, but like it has its own entrance kind of thing. Yeah. 
and we're gonna put them up there and spend time with them. You know, the hours between. There's the thing that. Okay, right. Okay. Um. No, I don't like. I'm, I'm not in the groove of clothing again. I gotta get back no, in I don't like. <laughs> Wait, this is backwards. Hold on. I'm trying to tell him about the cat. Sorry. I need you to put this not here. Here, it comes backwards. Got Just it. move those boxes. Which ones? The actual. Oh well, yeah, you can put it in the canal. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway, so we're gonna put them up there. They're brother and sister, so they know each other. They should be able to entertain each other. I'm not sure I understand. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Nobody's talking to you, Siri. God. Hey, somebody's make. Are, did you make the comment there? I did not do that. Gretchen oh. did that. Gretchen's here. Yay, Gretchen. I don't know how y'all are doing this. <laughs> Thank you for the help. We appreciate it. Perfect outdoor wear for travel, vacation, or a river cruise. <laughs> yes. Yo, I put this up. I don't care if anybody re reads it because the search will pick up on it. I don't care. I know y'all make fun of me about what I type. I've heard you. I've seen you <laughs> in the comments. Make fun of me. It's fine. Make fun of me all over the bank. Man, someone got us good. Someone, someone got us good in our uh, YouTube comments. <laughs> so Dan listed a sport coat without my supervision, and it was all wrinkly. And she got us. <laughs> I got called out. And then I had to go check. I was like, dang, that was really, really wrinkly. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Sorry. Kitty cam. Oh, my God. I love this. We could put it down in the corner Yes. while we're live listening. Oh, my God. So if we're not entertaining enough for you, you can watch the cats. <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm ready for a pick. Okay. He did not get away with anything. He listed one, because we had this thing where he was going to list one sport coat a day. Whoops. And then he was like, I do the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I do more than just the YouTubes. I'm like, can you just do one? Like one, because our death pile of sport coats is... It, it's out of control. Out of control. I'll admit that. It's out of control. And so he did one, but he didn't steal it. <laughs> so it was horrible. But we sold it. This was the whole moral of the story. <laughs> it's still sold. And so Dan felt vindicated. And this lady was like, so... <laughs> I really appreciate her comment. It was just funny how it came across. It was like, so I was looking through your store and I saw one of your sport coats sold for big bucks, but it, what did she call it? A wrinkled, a wrinkled mess. mess. <laughs> <laughs> and I, so I went, I had to go look. I was like, what, something in our store with a wrinkle? I mean, sometimes it's not perfect, but like a wrinkled mess. She was right. <laughs> yeah. It was terrible, but it still sold. So That's I don't cool. know. I don't know what to tell you about that. It's still sold. You know what I think it is? It's I think it's what we were talking about the other day too about suits and sport coats, like in general. Like the first thing you're gonna do is dry clean it. Yeah, that's true. See, Melissa Osborne knows. Dude did not care. He bought it right away. <laughs> it, that thing sold overnight. He did not care. Well, that's how we do. We used to steam our cargo shorts and stuff that we bought for a dollar. We do not do that anymore. <laughs> not... The more the more wrinkled the cargo shorts, the better. They're like, oh, it's like mine. Sell. Yeah. <laughs> Those are exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> that looks good. Try the warm light. It's warm it up, not, Chris. Just not in a good position. I mean, no. it just looks weird. Yeah. And this is kind of like a gray, grayish blue. So yeah, I think I think the colors come through accurately. Look, these people up on here have no... Y'all, look at my screen right now. This this is the shirt I'm listing. It looks a little black. Blow it out a little bit. Okay, first of all... That not, was not you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do they get away with this? Unless this is the Chaser store, which it doesn't seem to be. They just don't have any pictures of the item. None. Only stock photos. Really? Mm-hmm. I see I see listings like this all the time. Go and try it. Go and try it. Ringo is beneath thrashed. 
try the warm light. I wouldn't lie to you. Ooh, tradesy. Well, it does look a little better, doesn't it? <laughs> look at that. I know. Why are you thinking? Why are you so surprised? I am not. <laughs> I'm not. You see this I was face? here. I was here when we did the thing, the demo. I was here. Yeah, but then you, every time it works, you're like, wow, it's <laughs> really worked. So if you're taking a picture of blue things, change the color temperature of your light to a warm light. It will, the blue on the blue makes the black. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it sucks up the light. So you want to contrast it with a warm light. Now you know. Now you know. Now we've got the battle. That's right. I, it, mine hasn't updated yet, but yes, I saw that people could, uh, could uh, message the buyer. 13 sales in about nine months. I think we've only ever had two sales on Tradesy in our whole life. Yeah, ever. No, no, no. I don't care about the stock photos, Tommy. I'm saying, like, they don't put any photos of the actual merchandise. Isn't that weird? Like, you could put a stock photo. It's fine. But then, like, what about your garment? Like, what if your garment has a different... I don't know. Like, this is like a space dye. It looks different than the one in the photo. Nobody cares. What size? Large. I am not the stock photo police. No, 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 it's not me. I did not do that. And see, it says gray. That's not gray. That's blue. Definitely blue. Tailgate. That's what I'm put. I'm put. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Nice. I have a pair of black cords that I haven't listed forever because I haven't been able to get the color right. You got this. I believe in you. Oh, I take pics of the tags only if it's the exact item. Oh my god, I had no idea. And people still buy it without a picture. I, I, I wouldn't put past it. They bought Dan's wrinkly ass. That <laughs> <laughs> okay. thing was terrible. <laughs> Why did you think that was okay under any circumstances? <laughs> he really did. Honestly, probably because it was a Zizania and not a, not a top line one. <laughs> I cannot. Uh, hey, you asked. I use ProCam 8 for iPhone, which allows me to dial it in and lock them. I love I love the idea of ProCam. Uh, but if the light is bad, it's bad. <laughs> we're, we're getting new phones, though. I'm pretty stoked about it at yeah, some point. At some point. <laughs> we'll close on this house first, and then we will, we'll be getting some new phones. I guess I shouldn't list this at 1995 at the other. Oh, no, I can't. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Neil Comp. I've been listing my plush at 5%, but I can't do clothes that high. I can't do it. I won't do it. I don't know why. What an issue. Uh, we don't know. It's supposed to maybe, kind of, maybe something happened tomorrow, but we didn't get any paperwork. The last thing I got was, um, let me see. I think we're good for tomorrow. Not yet. We'll know it about 9 o'clock. Y'all will be here when we find out. <laughs> this has been the biggest pain in my... It's such a cluster. Oh Tommy, have you watched my lighting tutorial? Have you? Call them out. <laughs> Gretchen will tell you. It worked. <laughs> Please tell me watch my lighting tutorial. All right, here come the picture. You ready? Yep. I don't know if a lot of people saw it because it's kind of buried in a daily grind, but maybe we could take the footage and make it its own yeah maybe standalone Ozma she just gave us eight dollars and 88 cents which is lucky oh in numerology so awesome for and Valentine's very Day, maybe sold your house today. very nice of you thank you so much and thank you for saying maybe sold your house and right. not jinxing us thank you <laughs> 
All right, what is this thing? This is a little I appreciate that Disney a lot. baby tea. This was, what is this, half price? Yeah, probably. probably. You know, I've, I've looked at that shirt so many times, I don't know why I didn't just list it. <laughs> Okay, for Celeste, I need you to help her. Okay. eBay is telling her that she can't buy a label because the ship to address contains errors, and she's never had this before. Okay. Um, that happens sometimes. Uh, more often than not, it's just the... I've seen that happen when the person who inputs their address, they input a certain line of the address twice. So it runs over the character limit. It could be something as, as simple as that. So just take a look at the address. Um, you should be able to edit it as well in your shipping label, you know, in the buy shipping label screen. Um, and if it's not something painfully obvious like that, maybe they're missing an apartment number or something like that. And it, there should be a clue on that page of some kind. Small juniors. Junior? Y'all, stop. That is not fitting a junior. <laughs> I am the smallest human you've ever met in your life that's an adult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe. Maybe. It's, it's a little. It's a little, yep. I thought this was a toddler shirt. I thought this was like the toddler section. I, guess it, I called it a baby shirt. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bring my own point. Mm -hmm. It wants a zip code for Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi? Oh, you ship international. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to ask the buyer for their Abu Dhabi zip code. Uh yeah, I can do a tour tutorial more, but I don't really get more with a camera. I guess because your aperture speed is i've never gotten that on my phone ever have you what's that like remember when you used to film a computer screen and you get the wavies yes that have you ever gotten that on a with a phone i don't think so i've gotten it on my dslr for sure yeah no i don't think so i don't know why a phone doesn't do it that's weird i never thought of it hmm I can find the shirt. I've found the shirt so many times. So I said it today in the video, but whenever I see anything with rainbow, I put pride and rainbow in the title. Because come that time of year, we, we sell a lot of it. People just go in and put pride. And if they're going to Disney and they want a Disney pride shirt, well, mine will come up. Can, is there any help I can it's get? from Kohl's. Kohl's. Yep. Great. <laughs> That's what every reseller loves to hear. Should I take a picture of that tag or no? I probably wouldn't. Perfect. We forgot. I don't even see a tag in there. Okay, can you just Google it lenses for me? I do not know. There's so many. There's a million and I'm making people... <laughs> doesn't like it's no, it a cheap matter. Disney shirt like it's going to be 20 bucks at the very most so that's true, that's true, that's true. like this is you know well if i would help if i spelled juniors right <laughs> <Lord. laughs> wrong with me i had to use usps international oh god i didn't do any of that can't figure, I, don't, I, can't, I don't have brain space for it. All right, I'm listing this on my own. List it. List it on my own. If you ever have a paired hem and sold a garment, I'm going to box these hem tape onto shorts and dress pants, and I will disclose it. Woo! Um, I have repaired a hem. Have I done it using hem tape? No. Uh, would I? Maybe. <laughs> um, uh, that's a hard one. 
Caveat, any is a little bit of a perfectionist, so you wouldn't you would feel conflicted about it. like, well, what if the hem tape comes loose or something? Yeah. Uh, but that you know. Huh, I do remember that. I was like, do you remember when Garfield used to box up normal and try to ship him to Abu Dhabi? No. Always. I wasn't there a big Garfield watcher? It did come on after Power Rangers, though, but then I took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was like, mm. Category am I in here? I am in Disneyana. I do not want to be in this category. I want to be in women's clothing. I do not want to be boxed into that tiny category. No, thank you. Do not. Will not. Always check the category. Almost made a boo boo. Almost. Gray is a A when it's that color, Amy. <laughs> I think it was probably a cotton blend, huh? Yeah. Well, let me see. Yeah, 60-40. Okay, and then we're going to come down here to fabric type. What are we going to type, everybody? Oh, that is a jersey knit for sure. Jersey. It's a jersey. <laughs> Occasion. Dead right. giveaway. Everything, <clears throat> all the sleeves and all the hems are rolling. <laughs> True. All of them. True. It's just stuff just hanging out in our office, so we're just listing it. I'm, I'm hesitant to list the Brionis until we can find the pants, perhaps. I, yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Because we'll sell it, and then the pants will be like, ugh. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> okay, one second. So here's my thought. I've been thinking about it for a while, Teresa. Too deep in thought over here. You know, what if you sold someone something that somebody else hem taped? Like, how would you know? Unless you like got in there and looked. So you could note that it's been hemmed, but I wouldn't necessarily note that it's been hem taped. I don't think that's I don't think that's lying, but it's leaving out something. Is that bad? I don't know. Hand tape to me, I wouldn't buy it. I'd be like, yee. <laughs> that's just how I said that's what you asked. I said that's it. That's all I know. Or if you were repairing an existing hem, you could say hem has been repaired. Um, we are staying in Dallas. Our house that we own two houses right now, and it's a horrible. Hopefully not for much longer. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, we own um, a condo and a house. And the condo was supposed to sell immediately. Because, you know, that super hot real estate market of 2021. We have owned it <laughs> an extra 16 months something it's been on the market for 16 months yeah we don't really want to talk about it uh that's why we're working so much that's why we have 15 jobs and we don't sleep 
because we have two houses. <laughs> right. Uh, it just happened to be that our condo was in a situation where it was not able to be sold with a standard loan. Nothing was wrong with the condo, thankfully. Right. But a standard loan from Freddie or Fannie was not able to ha be had, and we didn't know that, or we wouldn't have bought a house. <laughs> no yeah. one told us. I didn't know that when I bought it. And we didn't I didn't know. know that the first time I tried to sell it. <laughs> so it's been what's happening for medium. All right, y'all. Look at the look at the um. Okay, I'm gonna take out. I'm just gonna put marine layer polo. Look at the sell through this sucker. Just this brand in general. So we have 30 solds for the polos. Let's see what's on the other. On the other side of this, huh? Shall we? It says 30. It looks like more than 30 to me. <laughs> and there's 31 listed. So it's about a 50% sell through rate, which for us. That's pretty good. You said it's a large? Medium. Mm -hmm. So I think this brand, I mean, they, they're not typically known for polos, normally t shirts. So the fact that the polos have a 50% sell through rate, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. I would pick up this brand. Every, I do pick it up every time because I can be sure that it's going to sell. A little roomy, a little roomy. Definitely a, that's a relaxed fit. It's medium for sure. Uh, we cannot rent it out. <laughs> Anyway, it's the whole thing. The whole I mean, we probably could have, in retrospect, had right. we known that it was going to be on the market for this long. But there's there's extenuated there's other circumstances at play, and it's just one of those things where, you know. Is it a still well by any chance? Uh, no idea. It's a single pocket polo. There's no, I didn't see any names or anything like that. Their styles. Sorry. Yeah. Or is it a sport performance polo? Performance. Okay, let me see that pocket. Is there like a little tabby tab on the pocket? There is not. No tab. No tabs. Okay, then I'm on the right track there. All right. problem okay how do you measure yourself properly for jeans I do, okay okay you got to measure yourself boo -boo. so Megan here's here's what you need to do you need to measure your waist which is where you want your jeans to fall so most of the time with jeans people have an issue with fit because hot tip everybody pay attention this is the personal styling Amy coming out you are measuring the wrong point on your body it's where you want your jeans to hit so if you wear a mid-rise jean you're gonna measure below your belly button probably two inches if you wear a low rise jean, you're going to measure right above your hips. If you wear a high rise jean, you want to measure right where your belly button is, where you want those jeans to hit. So you have to measure for the style of jean that you're getting. And then you have to measure the hips at the widest point. So like around your butt. Like I made Dan measure me the other day. Mm -hmm. um, and normally your hips are going to determine what kind of fit that you need for jeans. So or the brand. And I can tell you from somebody that has a smaller waist and very wide hips that brand matters. So for example, I mean, some brands have a curvy fit, like there's a Madewell curvy and Old Navy has a curvy if you're curvy or if you're straight fit, if you're slim and slender and your waist and your hips are almost the equal measurement, you can get a fit of jean like that. But it's all about the rise of the jean and where you measure your waist and how big your hips are. That's how you get jeans to fit, 100%. If you need recommendations, I fit people in jeans all day, every day, and I don't know them. So if you need a recommendation based on your body type of a brand, I can help you with that. Seriously, she's very, very, very good at that. <clears throat> Everybody she's put a costume on in the theater is always like, can I keep these clothes? They fit amazing and they look great. <laughs> every single every single actor ever is like, I'm keeping this. Yeah, that's like the best compliment. 
Hello. Gretchen said you were going to style her, remember? I know. I need to go to Colorado. Or we could do a virtual. Oh, virtual. We could do a virtual. Yeah. I'm ready for pictures. So just let me know if anybody. <laughs> Janet said same. <laughs> Janet, I can follow you in person because you live here. <clears throat> if y'all get a Pinterest board together of like the style that you want to achieve, and then I can help put the clothes on your body. The right kind of clothes all body types that's my passion making people feel good in clothes i wish i could do the same for myself okay <laughs> okay no i don't i don't think so what? yeah everybody has their jeans right so French teacher in VA whose name is Diane. Is your name Diane? Um, she said her the thing, the jeans that fit her the best are the Universal Thread from Target. Yeah. Mine are Democracy and they're not that expensive. But everybody finds your your jean and then you just buy it over and over, which is why the same jeans you wear, you should purchase for resale because someone else loves them too. Yeah, everybody has an odd shape though. It's it's you just have to find the right jeans with the right rise and the right fit. So go to brands like Madewell that have different fits. If you're pear shaped, get a curvy fit. If you're straight shaped, get a boy fit. But what I see is curvy people trying to wear not curvy jeans or the vice versa. Like people swimming in their jeans. And if they just got the right style of jeans, like I had this one lady who had the longest torso of all time. I mean, her torso was longer than, I think, oh my gosh. <laughs> my torso is 12 inches. I have the a very, very tiny torso and that's if I'm setting up straight. I think her torso was like 24 or 26 inches. It was very long. And she was trying to wear low as boyfriend jeans. So it made her torso look like 32 inches <laughs> and, and she couldn't figure it out. And I was like, honey, and she was like, well, I, I just have, I just, you're supposed to highlight, you know, what you have. And I'm skinny. And I'm like, yeah, but you're like way too skinny right now. And so we added some curves to her and she was loving it. She's still emailing me about these clothes. <laughs> This is a Polo Sport Pocket Tee. Okay. Did you bought this? I did. I thought I had heard somewhere or read somewhere that Polo Sport is, is discontinued and is kind of like a bolo brand now, sort of, soon, maybe. Okay, okay. I could be wrong about that, but I, I remember hearing that. So. What's a little vintage, huh? It's definitely vintage. Okay, well, can you figure out a year? Because this one says... Seventy-five dollars for vintage. You know what I'm saying? Well, That's I know it. this one's purple though. That one's dingy white. Oh, I should have soaked it. You should have soaked it. You could probably use a soak. I should soak it. And you can't tell in the pictures that it needs a soak, but I think it needs a soak. Okay. <laughs> Melissa has. She likes rock revival because Michaela hasn't found her jeans. Michaela, message me on Instagram or however people message people, and I'll help you. Tell me your measurements. Um. The only kind of number, this is K3 on the back of the tag. Uh -huh. And it's on the back of the care tag. And it's made in Honduras. 100% cotton. It's like heavy, like legit. Yeah, it's single stitch. That's a single stitch right there, friend. Huh. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Everybody's looking for single stitch and Dan picks it up on accident. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. 
Hey, what do you know? Hmm. It doesn't say country sport on it anywhere, does it? Country sport? Yeah. No, it says polo sport. Ralph Lauren's got an American flag. Uh, and it also has the polo sport on the pocket. Okay. But that's all we got. Oh, yeah. Janice, make a Pinterest board. I'll help you. That's fun. She likes to keep the 60s Mad Men. Uh-oh. I love that style, too. I can't pull it off because I look like a 12-year-old, but you could pull it off. Mint unworn. Get out of Get here. Get out of that here. That does not look that. mint and or unworn to me. I'm about to copy it. <laughs> so similar. Perfect. This is very difficult. And everybody copies everybody else's. So does everyone have a mint unworn? Hmm. You know what I mean? It's weird. Right. Everybody keeps selling the same shirt. <laughs> I have nothing. Okay, what size is this? It's a medium. I don't know what to do. Just make your own listing and price it at like, I don't know, 80 White men's size medium. That is not how that needs to sound. No. Whoa. Whoa. Anybody can wear this. Polo Sport what White. What am I doing? Huh? So what am I doing? Um, Put it in the bag before I have tiny pictures, of course. Like I do, you know. Making my own listing, and then everybody else is going to copy it. Yes, because it's going to be amazing. It's nah. going to sell. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put vintage first. Vintage white pocket pocket tee. Single stitch. Should have showed the people. Men size medium. Yeah, sure. It's easiest to see on the sleeve. Compare it to like one of those other t-shirts that has two. Okay, one second please. Speaking of jeans, I was taking pictures of some vintage men's Wrangler jeans. The end scene was 34.5 inches long. I don't think I've ever seen jeans that long. Should I? They are long. Uh, 34 is pretty normal. Mm -hmm. Dan wears like a 33. These are the longest legs you ever saw. Uh, 32 is normal. For women, it seems very long, but a lot of women also wear 34. So 34.5 is pushing it, but I would definitely list them as long, and then people looking for that long inseam. What brand are they? Wrangler? Wrangler, yeah. They might be a little long, too, because of boots. Yeah. Cowboy boots have that big heel on them, so you yeah. want them to be a little bit long, so you're not, like, high-watered. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm showing the stitching in the sleeve. Yeah, the Got single it. versus the double. Show me another t-shirt. So, all right, let me, uh, let me give you the full screen here. So this stitch right here in yeah, the sleeve. Yeah, 36. But that's not to the floor, Melissa, then, right? That's like to cover your shoes and stuff. There it is on the inside. You can see it's just the one, right, single pass of the machine. Single pass. Yep. And where's a... It's so, all out of focus. It's not that bad, was it? Was it out of focus? It's fine. Oh. And so that's the... Uh, I know, Shawana. This one's uh, definitely vintage, though. No, you can't. You can't really see that. I tried. Somebody else... Um, who was it? Melissa today had a shirt that was Abercrombie or something, and it was single stitch, and it was a reproduction, I think. So it's like, you have to be careful these days. But this show Shawana this tag. Come on now. Shawana, this thing old as old as the devil. Close work and keep right pocket T single stitch. Immediate men's size medium. Thick or heavyweight. 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 Heavy husky. Weight. Remember that time I called myself husky and you lost it? <laughs> <laughs> I fell out on the floor. <laughs> uh, couldn't breathe. Five fifty. Husky. That's so funny. Yeah, 34 to the floor. Yeah, I know a lot of women that wear 34 to the floor. 
But that's why I think Wrangler, yeah, it makes sense that they're long. Because you want to wear it with your boots. Got to. Got to wear them with your boots. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put this in specialty vintage. It's not special. It, it is special. not specialty. Yeah, the Abercrombie. I'm interested in that. Yeah, I know, Michaela. I get you. I get you. I am like shorty, so 34 seems long, but in men's, it sucks because normally they're 32 or 34, and Dan wears like a 33. Ugh. Nah. Yeah. Okay. I think these are like, these are bunched up a little bit. Yeah, a little I bit. think these are the longest ones. You keep making me taller every time you buy me new pants. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you say that? Because I'm pretty sure it's I think like 32. And that's not true. You were high rising. You were nerdy. I, can't <laughs> <laughs> I had to fix you. You're welcome for that. This guy, oh. when I met him. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I had to look at everything. It was like a diamond in the rough. <laughs> I can't. He had his socks pulled uh, all the way up. The plane. His socks pulled <laughs> all the way up. Uh, his tube sock. His tube socks oh in the running shoes. But he's not, he he doesn't run. But he was he was sporting them. I was like, honey, we gotta get you some little rice socks. Is it from the barb? Of course. Yeah. That's Linda. I can probably steam that out. Mm. I bet you I can steam that out. Okay. So on linen, the fiber is really fat and rough. And so if there's a hole in it, if you steam it or iron it, you can kind of like wiggle it back into place. That's a little hot tip. Hot tip! For his trademark hustle public. I can't. I can't do this. Uh, let's list this weird uh, Elm Street shirt. Why not, right? 95 cents. Oh, it's the old tag Abercrombie. I thought it was a newer tag. Sorry, I, I just glanced at your post. <clears throat> Janice's husband used to wear the tube socks too. You're not alone. All right, all right. You know, women can see through. You can see your potential. <laughs> you had much potential. Oh, thank you. Just went right to the store. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because you didn't like the shop. Now you love it. What's that about? What was the material on that? On what? This one? No, honey. The uh, one the I'm listing. 100% cotton. I need you to um, let all that. 100% cotton. <laughs> okay. This is the weirdest shirt. Like it's an official, a licensed shirt, but like, why did you look it up yeah. or you're going to make me look it up? No, I, I actually Google imaged it. Hey, so when it says character family, I can actually put something next time. Yes. Yes. I never can put something. I, it's taken me forever to list the thing shirt thing about your tube socks. <laughs> you do that to yourself. Jennifer. <laughs> oh my gosh. French teacher in Virginia is Jennifer. Jennifer, I can remember that. I can remember that. Remember, remember that. Okay, I got it. Jennifer. I don't know what to list this at. It's not worth that much. I know it's not. Thirty-four ninety-five. I just know it's not as dingy. Okay. I'm not gonna like. I'm not. You know what I'm trying to say. Yes. I'm not up in that to like have a return and right. people get serious. I can take that. All right. What is this called? This is. Um... Wait, Ozma is a Jennifer. Wait, why have I been calling everybody the wrong name? <laughs> everybody a Jennifer and Melissa. So that's what we got in here. Oh, yeah. Lizzie, I'm going to be. Lizzie's here. All right. I am going to be doing a junk bag haul this week. Because I have bought so many junk bags. 
maybe 20 or something. <laughs> like, it's, so many. I have bought so many. And then we're going to do a little like comping thing and then see how much I can make off them. Because all y'all miss junk of the month. So. Right. We're going to bring it back in kind of a. I'm going to do a haul first. And then I'm going to list all this stuff. And then you're going to know. What am I looking at? Sorry, what is it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Nightmare on Elm Street or something? Yes. But type in these words. Okay. Elm Sokagi. Excuse me? S O K A G I. Next word, K A B U S U. I live alone with two cats. I love cats. I love the cats. You don't live alone, you have us. Right? <laughs> What's asymmetric no cut shoulder? We don't have that. So somebody just like hacked up this t shirt, or this is a different I think version? somebody just hacked it up. I mean, this one's got a little bit, little tiny hole in the back of the collar, but that's it. I cannot fix holes in cotton. I'm sorry about it. I can't. So I wasn't asking you to fix it. I was just letting you know. Should I put Freddy Krueger in the title or yes, what? Absolutely. What's MD t-shirt? Medium? Hmm. Maybe. That's what I would assume it means. Um, men's size what? Medium. Freddy. I mean, if it fit. Cool. Kruger. Oh, man. Kruger. Rare. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one listed on all of eBay. Brand is Nightmare on Elm Street, right? That's what it says. Okay. Ooh, I we'll have to go watch. Lizzie uploaded a reseller oh, right. video. Yeah, if anybody has their own channels, I mean, by all means, plug away. Yeah, for sure. Especially in our Facebook group, they're always open. Yeah. What was it made? Did it say made in USA or anything? Um, made in Haiti. Oh, that's cool. Is it a cotton blend? It is 100% cotton. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a garment made in Haiti. It's awesome. Hmm. Rare find. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, you have a YouTube? I know Michaela, right? People ask the weirdest questions on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I just don't answer them. Yeah. Ever. I had somebody on eBay ask me a question about a VCR that I had listed as broken and four parts. He asked me why it was broken. <laughs> I said I didn't know, and then he asked me again, but why is it broken? But why doesn't it work? I'm like, I, I, <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't work. That's why I'm selling it as not working. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard on, on YouTube to remember to thumbs up and like and comment. and Because so many times my videos just roll, you know, they'll just play one after the other. And yeah. Because oh, I'm working. No, we'll definitely go watch. Drop your channel on our Facebook page. Or Facebook, what is it? Facebook group. Facebook group, yeah. We're so not. <laughs> <laughs> but we do watch YouTube, so we'll watch it. A couple people in here have YouTubes. Like, Caitlin has a YouTube. Yup. And Lizzie. Who else has YouTube? Melissa does lives in our Facebook group, which are great. She's trying to get on YouTube with us. She's trying. 
Melissa, well, so when are you going to schedule? What about tomorrow? Tomorrow sounds fun. No, Friday. How? No, you can't do Friday. Can you do tomorrow, Melissa? What? Yeah. We can bring Melissa on. Sure. Because she could list stuff too. Yeah. I'd have she's to a, my she already knows how to log into the control room, so there you go. Jump on, jump on in the stream. Come on. <laughs> um, so you're gonna try to steam this land, Oh my land gosh, she's shirt. so excited. She's the most excited she's ever been. I could tell through the computer. Okay. Do we want to try to photograph this white thing? That's good. It's fine. It's never been that big of an issue. Try it out. We'll try it out. Uh, no, but if you make one, that would be awesome. I'll pin it or something. I think I can do that. We're all about the self-promotion. I have been kicked out of so many groups. <laughs> I get posts deleted all the time. I think I'm following the rules, but people are now. Dan gets kicked out more than I do. I don't post any links anymore or anything. And we I still just, get kicked out. Uh, they're like, no self-promotion. So somebody will ask a question like, I need help with my lighting. And then Dan will write, well, we have a great YouTube video on our channel. Because it's true. They ask the question, we reply, and then he gets kicked out. And we're like, oh, great. No link or anything. He just says the Hustle Couple YouTube channel. That's all he says, but it's self-promotion. But like we're but trying to help. But it actually specifically applies to this person's <laughs> question. We're like not in any more Come reseller on. groups. <laughs> and this one guy came after me one time. Woo! That was a time. We had a time. Came after me in my DMs. Woo! That's right. He was one of those have to have the last kind of word kind of people. <laughs> I was like, sir, I left your group. It's not a problem anymore. And he was like, oh, so now you're just going to leave. He wouldn't let me stop. I'm like, ah, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. So come into our group and hawk all your stuff. <laughs> Please. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. This is J. Jill. Uh, wherever collection. It's a size 3X. I believe the style number is uh, 043264. New with tags. <clears throat> um, Not the style number? I don't think that's the style. Okay, what about? I want to know what it's made of, too. Okay, what about? Try. 80. I'm oh, sorry, 8013X. I think the 13X is a size. Mm. Uh, okay, what is this? This is a tank top. Very large, large tank top. It's 95 rayon, 5% spandex. Rayon, 5%. Oh, this is probably a style number right here. Okay. Yeah, it's a, uh, so it's KTP. KTP 043264. Four, well, Same like earlier. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. All right. All right. You was just missing the KTP. See, that's not on the tag. That's just on the, uh, I mean, on the paper tag. It's on the fabric or whatever. Tag. Mm -hmm. I see. You know what I'm trying to say. I do. Gretchen's back. Oh, hello. Welcome back. <clears throat> hey. We're listening close still. We're about to switch over. We're doing pretty good. I don't know how many we've listed, but it feels like a lot. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. No idea how many we've done, but we're just kind of powering through them. We bought this for 27. Free shipping, but still. Yeah. Retail's 55. So. Yeah, so Jennifer, let us know if you put a post, or maybe somebody in the group that isn't in a position to do that. I'm not in a position to do that. Somebody put a post. There is an introduction post, but I don't think there's a YouTube specific post. Oh, my God. 
Oh, sure. Okay, what is the um, number? 5013. Yeah, see, I'm all backwards because I didn't know we were going to do this one. Can you give me the UPC by any chance? 756-524-7080. I don't know if that's... Sometimes like those store ones don't Yeah. Work. Where did I... Did I pull a price tag off that thing? I don't remember. <laughs> the most of us said, I just pulled out a St. John's Bay leather coat that says authentic St. John's Bay. Is that brand ever fancy? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Because we found a really cool utility jacket that one time that was St. John's Bay. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if it was always like JCPenney or whatever. What, Sears? I don't know what it is now. I don't know. 100% free shipping. Dang. <laughs> See, this is the only time I do free shipping when it's like 100%. I'm like, well, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to see. I'll just take the offer. Most people will offer less the shipping and I'll take it. True. <laughs> it's like that meme where that guy's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Which one? Yeah. You know the guy in the jacket. Mm -hmm. It's like basically the same thing. But I feel better. I pop it. Okay, I'm ready to go. I don't know. We'll have to do a history of St. John's Bay because that's. I bet at one point it was like not what it is now. Yeah. You know how like Elizabeth and James moved to Coles and Dana Buckman moved to Coles and now they're like nothing. <laughs> what if that happened to them? Poor things. <coughs> Poor darlings. Should we keep going? I mean, there's at least there's a couple more. I mean, want. we're only rolling to eight. It's only eight forty-four. So when have we done? I don't even. Oh, no. What? No. What? Six? Oh, what does this one say? Oh, six? That doesn't... Not that good, huh? No. <laughs> Maybe just six. I think it's just six. Ooh, a Penny Lane code. I'm so jealous. I don't want one for myself. What if the original Penny Lane coat was St. John's Bay? Well, there's that famous um, Friends coat that St. John's Bay, the Phoebe oh, one. Oh, for the Phoebe jacket, yeah. We've done seven. Seven? Seven. Which one's seven? It's probably the Disney one. It probably snuck down in there. Oh, you're probably right. <laughs> One ninety nine. Forty percent off. Sweet. That's true. That's true. She rocked that coat. So iconic. That's like my dream is to have an iconic piece like that. One of my designs. Like define a character. Ah. Oh. You're so fan, like the red dress from Annie or the green dress from Gone with the Wind. Like to have that and have my name on it and my choice. <laughs> <laughs> One day. 
Brooks Brothers, Merino Wool, Rib Knit, All right? Yes, of course. Turtleneck. Turtleneck. Sweatshirt. This is Steve Jobs right here. <laughs> Steve Jobs be like. Extra fine Italian Merino Wool, 100%. There's one listed for $35. So merino wool on the scale of wool is less nice than, uh, what's that one? I don't like cashmere. Uh, but more nice than, I don't know, regular wool? Worsted wool? Yeah. Worsted. Lamb's wool would be softer and yeah. nicer than merino. Merino is very fine, though. The thread is very, um, yeah. and it has a little bit of fuzz to it. It's nice. I think it's probably a little more itchy than cashmere. I think if you wore that sweater, you'd be itchy. <laughs> I won't put that in the listing, though. Itchy sweater. 100% itchy sweater. <laughs> I love. Okay, what size was it? This is large. Okay. And it's gray, charcoal, you think? Charcoal, yeah. Is turtle only two or is there one? There? I think it's one. Whoa, I'm in women's. How, how did this happen? <laughs> oh no. Get out of there! What? Kate has been filmed a movie in her house in Atlanta. My cousins had people film movies. Do you live in Little Five Points in Atlanta? Because my cousin lives in Little Five Points and they always film movies on her street and in her house. She was almost in the, the new George Clooney movie. I don't know which one it was, but they didn't pick her house this time. So cool. Six degrees of separation right there. She said Kate Hudson hasn't used my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, do you know where it was made? Uh, Hong Kong. <clears throat> Oh, North Price. Okay, cool. I think if I didn't live in Texas, that's where I would live is Atlanta. I keep telling Dan, he's not picking up the hints. I'm true. Pick up plenty of hints. That's my hint. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. I just want to work on movies. That's all I want to do. And Texas is just not the place. I mean, we do work, but not, not like I would if I was in Atlanta or London or something. I have no desire to really go to LA, but I would. Of course, I could always move to New York. <laughs> no questions. Classic Steve Jobs. I'm putting it right up in here. Do it. Jobs look. Um, made from fine merino, extra fine, extra. High quality knit knitwear. Oh, nice. Let's 
see. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Mom, buzzers, and does anybody feel like it's Christmas when they process their thrifted items? <laughs> oh, I wonder what I have here. Yep. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I don't know why, but we forget immediately. <laughs> oh, God, what kind of office? 806 active listings. Good job. Nice. I know the film industry is huge. I just want to go to Tyler Perry, Perry Studios, knock on the door, and be like, you need me. Just let me in. I love Tyler Perry. Like, more than I can even, I can't even put it into words. <laughs> <laughs> so much so that we have a tiny framed picture of Medea hanging in our house. You didn't have to share that. Hey. Come I on. love Tyler Perry on another level. <laughs> Uh, that picture is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, like a little two by three, like a wallet. <laughs> two by two picture. <laughs> Some people come to our house and are like, they'll finally notice it. Is that a picture of Medea? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Uh, what about it? $39.99 or $49.99? $39. Yeah. Congratulations on 806 active listings. Now, here's the thing. When you get to an even number like that, you have to try to keep it under 800 while it's still constantly listing. So that means you're selling, too. We had it like that for a while. Yeah. Where yeah. we were like, yeah, were we were like under 1,500, and then, or some, it was some number. Yeah. We kept dropping, and then we list again. And then all of a sudden, we just gained a bunch. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, yeah, everyone's coming over. They're all going to see it. Everyone's planning their trips. But now there's cats upstairs. See if they take care of the cats. <laughs> Only cat people need apply. Yeah, if, you, if you're allergic to cats, you can't come right now. We have we have foster cats. I think Dan agreed to the foster cats because I want foster kids. <laughs> He's probably like, okay. Whew. Cats will starve her off for a while. <laughs> what was that, nine? Or ten? Probably nine, because you always think it's one more than it is. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. List. Smash that like button. Yeah. Smash it. Smash it. Okay, I'll count for you. Yeah, I can do it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Why do I only have eight in here? I'm only counting eight, too. Yeah, there's only eight. Yeah, because we did seven, and then we listed out. <laughs> I can't. Okay, all right. I can't with you. So many of these are done. I got a million. All right. We're going to have an hour. Perfect. We're doing great. We're doing great. We're not stressed out. No. No, seriously, we're not. No, I know. I know we're not. I'm agreeing with you in... Like, actually... Wait, how come when I smash my... Can I smash my own life button? Yeah, it says yeah. zero. I can't smash my... Oh, oh I did. Mine go. just says one now. That's weird. That's weird. Okay, so I pre-drafted a bunch of these plush, and as Dan is taking pictures of them, he'll airdrop them to me, and I will drop them in the listings. This shouldn't take any time at all. What are you starting with? Um... You're going to do the stuff that's in there? Yeah. Okay. So I guess we're starting with um, this purple squishmallow guy. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, I, I, okay, okay. You're starting with stuff from today. There's all that bag goods in there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I already, oh, I can't forget about those. Because I haven't dropped the pictures into those listings yet. Okay. Do you want to start there? Just come out of the cake. No. Come out of the cake. 
Okay. okay. Let's do those first. So I'm going to start with the um, and you have the thunderous heating pad on here. Where are those drafts? Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, you made this draft. Okay. 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 I'm going to do the stretchy unicorn. Stretchy unicorn. What even is that? It's a white thing? squishmallow okay. fake. Right. But it's stretchy. It is stretchy. I tried it. <laughs> and it smells like candy. Did you smell it? No. You have to smell it. What? Yeah, it smells like candy. That's weird. Wait, Ozma, why it says Ozma when your name's Jennifer? <laughs> You're not trying to confuse me on purpose. Ozma or her, her cat name or something. Like oh, that. is her cat? I, I think. I think well, I then that's allowed. Somebody saying that. I think. That's allowed. What I'm doing? Wait, this one looks so much cuter. Why does this one look so much cuter? Y'all, this one looks way cuter than this one, right? This one versus this one. Well, they're both kind of cute. <laughs> I'm going to leave it how it happens. Somebody was driving by the basin outside. Basin. Scented. Seven ninety five. Oh well, I promoted at five percent. I'm trying some five percent. Good, good call, Gretchen. I left it at the first. Okay, what are you doing now? I don't. I don't. Oh, you're know. Not doing anything. I guess I'm. I'm doing uh, Wally. Wally. The, the teeny, the teeny tie alligator. <laughs> okay, um, let's see what that means to me. Oh, the the white one. No. Oh. The little tiny green one. Oh, I don't know what that is. A wally. Uh, okay, I'll do the white alligator. <laughs> <laughs> the albino one. Mm -hmm. Give me just a second. I thought you were saying wall E. No, wall E. <laughs> so I listed 12 plush. I mean, I drafted 12 plush today after the video, after the Daily Grind video, and it took uh, an hour and a half. But one of them I had to clean for a good half hour. <clears throat> I did get it pretty clean, though. I used that Folex product because it had tags on it, so I couldn't soak it. And the Folex worked pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. It's like a carpet cleaner that you don't have to rinse. And it was a white plush. And it was worth a lot of money, so I spent a lot of time cleaning it. It was a snowball version of um, Stitch, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Yep. And the snowball versions of all the plush do pretty well. It's just like them in, like, snow gear. <laughs> They're all white, and they have, like, little fuzzy <laughs> things on where do, what is our life, you know? What is our life? Look at this old guy. This is an albino alligator. I didn't know if it was an alligator or a crocodile, so I think I put both. Yep, put both. I couldn't see its TCC. Right. So I didn't know. Yes, Michaela! Um, she sold her fourth item on eBay. Sweet. And Melissa sold two stitches this morning. See, oh. stitch is popular. She said maybe there's something coming out. Okay. We have one stitch in here, but it has lipstick on it. Maybe I should try to clean it. Okay, uh, it's not a dumb question, Celeste. Uh, I measure plush head to toe, and then I also measure them sitting. I put both, because I don't know. I've heard mixed answers on each. So I put both, normally I put both measurements in the listing and then I put, I spell it out in the description, like 15 inches sitting, 18 inches head to toe. I know that's not the answer you wanted, but I don't think there's a definitive answer anywhere. I did, the old ladies in my group say sitting, but then you look at all the comps and they're all head to toe. So I'm like, the old lady <laughs> said sitting. If they sit, if they don't sit, then you're, you're good. 
Jelly Cat is definitely measured head to toe. That's the truth. Stitch is hot. I had to order my daughter a mini stitch purse from eBay. Oh my God, y'all, we found a bolo. Our group has a secret bolo. Yes. How do I get the lipstick off this one? Did you see it? <laughs> uh -uh. I have to look at it. I think it's what Melissa sent me. Melissa, I think you sent me a stitch. Yeah, she did. But it has lipstick. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, so I thought, I just like, oh, this is normal. And then I looked at it. Mm -hmm. yep. Definitely has lipstick on. Yep. Oh, Carrie, then it is rare. If you can't find it on Google Lens or eBay, it's rare. Price it with your heart. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to clean him up then. I'm going to get him listed. Y'all want to see the, the plushie that's worth a lot? Hold on. Where hands go? Gonna have an avalanche over here. Oh, I knew it. Oh no. Oh wait, I can put them inside because we're we're separated now. Yeah. This guy was the dirtiest plush we I think we've ever brought in here. Look how cute. I know, right? Look at this thing. It was so dirty. It had the most schmutz on it of any schmutzies. <laughs> but I think that Folex worked amazing. Look at the back of it. <coughs> I should have wow. taken before and after pictures. You guys should have seen this thing. It was the dirtiest, and it had, like, doo-doo all over it. This was all doo-dooed. Really? Yeah, it looks white, right, guys? I mean, it's like... Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And this is vintage. Yeah, it looking good. 30 minutes later. Ugh. <laughs> It'll be worth it. It was definitely, it wasn't just dingy, it was dirty. Dang, Laura. All right, what am I doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I missed all the, the Okay, things. so you're taking pictures now. Yesterday, yeah. Okay, do you want to do them one by one? Um, no, let me just take the pictures real quick. Okay. I'll be in the cave if you need me. Dan's in the photo cave to so ask all your questions now because I have a minute to answer them. Osh, kosh, baba. I think the second one. No, 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 Melissa. I thought it was, I completely missed it too. And it was like, when I was looking, I'm like, something's not right here. Because <laughs> I was about to list it. I had a draft and everything. And then I was like, wait a second. So now I have to figure out how I want to clean it, if I want to put it in the washing machine or what. But if you sold, you, you, sold, you sold two of them today, then it might be worth it. Oh, Michaela said she had a kid's meal that had a stitch toy today. Okay. So it must be something coming out. Yeah. Why don't I just look it up? Stitch. <laughs> what do we call Lilo? Yeah. And Stitch New Movie. No, I don't look at my typos. The screen shouldn't be up. It's not. Oh. Lilo and Stitch latest news. <laughs> They're filming it in Hawaii? Wait, I thought it was animated. I have no idea. It's a live action, y'all. No. It's a live action remake. Uh-oh. So the first Lilo and Stitch came out in 2002. Disney Insider is reporting. Filming in Hawaii. This is from an article from 2020 I'm reading, so I have no idea. So interesting. Just say wearing lipstick and call it rare. Oh, I'm so here for this. Yes. The lipstick variant? 
<laughs> I, I have so many things I can't say on YouTube right now. <laughs> that would definitely sell this thing. <laughs> to the right discerning buyer. Oh, you know all about it. Melissa Osborne knows all about it because her son was born in 2001. She knows all about it. Don't encourage me, Gretchen. Don't encourage me staying straight and narrow on YouTube. <laughs> Trying my filters on. <laughs> she said, we all know. <laughs> You're right. 43 people are online at nighttime listing. I love it. It's amazing. I love it. It makes me feel so not alone. Yes, Melissa Osborne, you have to have a filter on YouTube because people can watch it for all of eternity. <clears throat> and because we can get demonetized. So we have to sign a contract with you. <laughs> We need a written contract. <laughs> and we have a lawyer now, so let me just tell you about contracts. I can't say anything about a contract right now, but I want to tell you something tomorrow if it goes through. This is a very interesting fact about contracts. Oh, thank you, Ignacio. That's so nice. Are you guys listening tonight or are you just watching? It's fine. No right answers. No wrong answers, no right answers. I guess you're supposed to say no wrong answers. <laughs> That's so nice. Thank you. Do you guys resell together? I'm, I'm so interested. My glasses are so dirty. I can't see anything. Hey, a rural squirrel. Rural squirrel, I got it. Somebody with an accent like mine, that's a hard one. I'm sure you know that though, that's why you named yourself that. Are you guys? We are watching and listening every day. We wait for your videos. Oh, melts in my heart. That's so nice. We're Some, the nicest of friends. We really do. It feels like we're talking to the void a lot. And so when people say stuff like that, I know it's obvious because you guys, there's 44 people here. But during the day, it feels like we're talking to the void. Almost always. So that's good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Dan, I can't believe you didn't pick up on that. Joe Dirtline. Which one? Rural Squirrel. Uh. Dan loves Joe Dirt. Oh my God, he loves it all. Joe Dirt, Talladega Night, like anything. <laughs> he knows it all. <laughs> all those kind of movies. He knows every word. Pretty sure they picked up on the Talladega Nights thing. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Well, all I can say is thank you for the support, but not for me or Dan or us. I just hope that we are making you more money. That's all I hope. I hope that we're here and that you're making more money because of it. That's like the best. Because I support the only reason we do YouTube, literally the only reason is so that you guys can learn from it and be the best resellers. So if we're doing that, then that's great. Um, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, put your YouTube. Oh my God, everybody needs their YouTube. We need all the YouTubes. Because all the things that are suggested to me on YouTube are the old crusties, and I want some new people to watch. Because I've been watching old crusties for three or four years now. You know what I mean? Not the people are old and crusty, but like the content is old and crusty. Ready for some new blood on my timeline. Do you guys ever feel like that? 
I don't know. YouTube only recommends like three three people to me. I don't want to say they are, but because they're fine and I watch them. But like, you know, if you don't click on your subscriber, so Dan and I have two different YouTubes, and then we also have the Hustle Bubble YouTube, and I never sign into my YouTube, which is where I'm subscribed to everybody. So I just rely on the YouTube algorithm to suggest videos to me, and it's always the same three people. I don't know. I keep asking Dan, how do we get in that? <laughs> Thank you, Katrina. Oh, that's all I want. I just want to be helpful. I feel like when we started reselling, there was no help. And there was tips and tricks that you could watch here and there, but there's no one to really go to from start to finish to like, okay, I trust these people that they know kind of what they're doing and we'll just follow their model or their lead. We don't know everything, my God, but we know like, I don't know, 70%. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to like get your business off the ground, obviously, because we have a business. What we do? I know. So I wish there was somebody like us that we could have watched to just like, oh, like every day I wanted to be like, oh, instead of us finding out because we made a mistake. <laughs> We're like, oh, that's how we learned, Dan. Yeah. Oh, oh man, <laughs> we'll do better next time. Yeah, we were like this. Oh, I'll show them. Why his ears always in his face? <laughs> yes. Dan found two brother and sister jelly cats at the store. Well, maybe they're sisters. Maybe they're both. I don't know. Maybe they're brothers. I don't know. The Cordy Roys. The Cordy Roys don't do as well. I don't know why. Get some listing done. These are like bigger ones. These are large. They're lo yeah, they're kind of fat at the bottom. It's like they have beans in them, and so they kind of like squat. When you sit them, can you sit them like that so they look like super fat at the bottom? Because that's the pictures that did the best look like that. The ones that sold. The only ones that sold. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate that. And I have said this to the Facebook group so many times, like we are 100% the same people in real life. I know you're not supposed to do that on YouTube, but we can't help it. We don't have a, we don't have a YouTube persona. Should we have a YouTube persona? Maybe. It's too late now. Too late. They're so available randomly, right? I checked and I told Rebel, I'm like, on a Tuesday, I was like, there's blue boxes. You want to get them? And then she got them. So you can get them whenever. I'm just not sure. It depends on how you normally source plush. I've been formulating my synthesis on this. And if you normally source plush at the thrift and you're paying $2.99 or $3.99, then it's probably a good deal. It's probably a good bet. You might get a rare one whatever. But if you're at the bin sourcing plush, there's no way that it's worth it. Because our average cost of goods, we said it was $3.11, but I actually think it was more because there was a lot of stuff that I just am not going to list. Because, I mean, I could list it for four ninety five free shipping or whatever, and I'm not going to do that. So I think it was, it'll probably average around $5 a piece. And we never pay that much for plush, except for this one over there that we paid eight ninety nine for unexplainably, and it's not worth that. That one is not good. That big beanie boo. Yeah. We should not have paid eight ninety nine for that. Okay. But anyway, so I don't know. It just depends on how you normally or what access you have to plush. What? <laughs> you don't want to show people any of them. Show them the two jelly cats because they don't look like jelly cats. You these might not know. Cordy, Cordy Roy's. Yeah, these are Cordy Roy's. There's a bunny and a purple horse. There you go. Yes. Um, Jennifer, we have a video on Vendu's channel. I know. She said, have you ever posted a list of top 10 or 20 plush brands to look for? We really did. Yes, we have. We just did it on the wrong channel. Yeah. We thought it would get more traction on Vendu and get us subscribers, but it didn't. It's a really good video. And it's, it's been, over there. How long has it been on that channel? It's been up there for months now, right? Yeah. 
and I think it only has it still only has like 200 views if that it's, we worked really hard on that video yeah we did we should we're gonna post it on our channel yeah who cares <laughs> we didn't sign a contract or anything we they just wanted definitely content definitely did not and they just reached out to us because we reached out to them so many times about their platform and fixes we wanted they were very nice and they're like oh do you want to put a video over here and we're like sure but then it just didn't it just didn't get any traction strange we were really disappointed about that and then we didn't want to make it again because we already just made it <laughs> ignacio says he loves when your husband starts taping the box <laughs> is it my face or him taping it's probably a combination of both Yes, fill bag sales. Yes, yes, yes. I think we're going to just repost that video on our channel. That is true. Every state is so different. Yeah. So different. And when I went to the bins in Fort Worth, they didn't have any flush. It was like gross. Like you wouldn't get plush in those bins, but the bins in Dallas had great plush and there's tons of it there. And like in Melissa's bins in Oklahoma, they have plush. I think it just depends on your bins mm -hmm. and what they save to put in the bins. Okay. Sorry. What? Oh, I'm just still photo over Oh, one listing down. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That video is our top 10 or 15, 15, 15. brands that sold for over $50. So, yeah, I think it's really helpful because when you're looking, or it was like our top 15 sales from the year. Or something yeah, like that. but they were all from different brands. Yep. And it was really helpful because if you're looking at a sea of plush, like somebody put in our, I don't know who put it in our group the other day. Like, I wish there was a resource. And we're like, hey, <laughs> we made one. But if you can't, if you don't watch it, if you didn't know it was there, we did promote it. But I guess we should just put it on our channel. Yeah. Okay, so she's listing a Gretchen's listing a beanie boo, and she said, "Would you put it in the tie category?" I do. If okay, this is the answer you don't want. I just copy someone else's listing and whatever it's in, I keep it. But I copy a sold listing, so there's your, there's your answer because it's sold. Yep. So much of reselling for me is just like, <laughs> I mean, if that one's sold, I guess mine will. <laughs> ah. Let's this just see. Let's thing. just roll the dice and see what works. This beanie boo thing is new because yeah. we, we don't have kids. We do not know what we're listing 90% of the time when we're in the flush lane. We're like, uh -huh. But some of them are really valuable. Yeah. <laughs> and the sell through is incredible on these beanie boos. I don't get it. I don't care. The thing sold it overnight. <laughs> and we were like, this is never going to. It was literally in the Goodwill pile. <laughs> <laughs> What do I know? I don't know. <laughs> a plush manifesto. We need another word for manifesto because that's copyright, trademark, hustle, not us, hustle, couple. That's thrift of life. It needs to be a plush with a P word. That's kind of like manifesto. Portfolio. <gasps> Portfolio. But then I have to put graphics. I don't want to put graphics. <laughs> no, I can put graphics, but they're going to be, they have to be our pictures. It's got to be your bowl. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Um, all right. Which one of these bad boys do you want? I don't know which took. Plethora. Of, a plethora. What's a plethora? You right. guys watch the movie. You're gonna get the. You're gonna get the purple squishmallow owl. Okay. So this purple squishmallow owl is only worth fourteen ninety five. Don't pick it up. Okay. What about the teal one? The teal one I put at twenty two ninety five. Sweet. A little more valuable. <laughs> don't know why. And it's smaller. There is not a lot of teal ones listed. Okay. And his name has an. Okay. I'm doing Holly. Holly, can you share my screen for me? Absolutely. The plush proclamation. Plush proclamation. <laughs> yeah, y'all are geniuses. We, it's so weird that we're the plush people because we're not. <laughs> we're really like, no, Rebel's the plush person. We do not. We just want to make money. Yeah. And fast. And we were like, some of this stuff sells for big money. And it's like, that's what got us into it. There, there's some of it that is very valuable and it's so fast and easy to list. And I swear we sell more plush because I use this, this picture. Look at this picture, stop <laughs> what you're doing and look at the picture. Okay. So instead of, 
I use this, this three quarter picture instead of this one, the flat picture that everybody uses. I don't use that one. I made Dan start taking these photos and our plush has been selling better ever since. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why it's more appealing to look at, look at how, what I did is I looked at how people were shooting shoes and fruit and everything. And it's always on this angle. So you can see the depth of the item. It doesn't look flat. I don't like anything flat. And I swear we sell more plush because of it. So try to get this angle. It's key. I'm telling you, it's key. <laughs> Hot tip. <laughs> Hot tip. The first trade by House of Holding. I can't. I can't yeah. stand when you do that because you can't get it out. Oh, like, That's the whole to, point. You That's need to the... work on your diction. Nah. Now you need to be like. Oh, nah, you see, if you've seen the movie, you would get it. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't watch that movie. I mean, I probably would like it. It would probably be funny. It's very funny. So all this low dollar plush, I'm listing it at 5%. I've been a little mini experiment. Hey, Kimmy. How you doing? Oh, we are listing two owls. Dan's listing a teal one right now. His and name I just is Winston. His, Winston, and I just listed Holly, but somebody said maybe that's Harriet. Who's Harriet? What? Oh, there's so many owls. They all, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> hey, Jennifer number three. I think they're the third Jennifer that I know that's on this. This is awesome. We have like three Jennifers and three Melissa's. Sisses. Love it. Hello. I hope you're getting some stuff done. All right, I'm going to do the nubby newbie. Okay, I'm doing the little scruffy dog. Oh, <laughs> scruffy dog. He was so cute. Now I know all the Jennifers. And then we have a friend named Isabella. I mean, named Heidi, who goes by Isabella on YouTube. So I had to figure that one out. It took me forever. She had to spell it out for me. <laughs> she was like, Amy, I'm Heidi. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I called her Isabella, I don't know, for three years. I can't. I could not. Why do you look so smashed? <laughs> These photos are not so best. Oh! What happened? They look dingy, and I washed this guy. He's not dingy. Brighten him up, don't you worry. He is not dingy. I washed him. Oh! Look what happens when I push this button. Just watch. Oh! Whoa. Horrible. That's how my picture came through? Yeah. That dark? Yes, that's what I'm fixing up. It comes through this dark. It's a dinge. I like that. It's not a dinge. It's not a dinge. Why are your picture coming through like that? Oh, no. You gotta clean the thing in there. You heard? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the thing. Yeah, <laughs> you knew it and you did it anyway. Ah, the worst. Uh, all right, Cordy Roy Rabbit. Oh, Carrie, have you been watching? I tell you. Gary, you gotta get caught up. Gary is Gary. <laughs> Jennifer, why are you unsure about eBay? Start by listing one thing and then like contact us about your one thing. We'll walk you through it. Once you do one thing on eBay, you can do it. I swear you can do it. Here's what you need to know. All clothes that are tops are normally $4.99. Charge that. All clothes that for are shipping. Yeah. for shipping. Yeah. All clothes that are jeans or something like that, that you can fit in a flat rate envelope, charge $7.99 or $8.99 for shipping. And then everything else, charge $12.99 if you're a clothes seller. You can do it. That's all you need. You need three shipping categories. That's it. Boom, flat rate. You won't lose money on shipping. I think that's where people get hung up. Yeah. Because listing is just like Poshmark. You just like put all your stuff in here. Should we make a like one pager Yeah. on doing an eBay listing? Like how to set up your see some people don't even use business policies i think you can do it without using business policies yeah i don't because, know how to do because there's like ebay defaults or standards or whatever, right but i don't even know what those are anymore i think people get crazy worried about the business policies it's so easy 
So we'll make a one pager. Let's do that. And then yeah, we can we be can, like, we can figure out set that. up three business policies. If you're a clothing seller, this should work. Or plush works for plush. Most plush is, is first class. Yeah. No matter, even if it's big, it's mostly first class. Yeah, with rare exception. Always yeah. pick up lovies. That's Chelsea's tip. I picked up every single one I've seen since then, and I've sold every single one of them. True. Yep. I this one didn't even have a brand on it. I found the brand, but it didn't even have a brand. I'm just like, I'll list this thing. I'll list it. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're done. I have all tied to my personal. Okay, wait. I had to get caught up here. So find a photo and list. That's what I'm saying, Katrina. I'm like, if I can list so much plush in less time and I have more fun doing it, let's do it. I'm all kinds of personal concert. Wait, can we talk about concerts? Devil Effort, Bad Company, Pink Floyd, Hank Williams. What? Yes. Okay. How does getting paid work? The same way that it does on Poshmark. You just put in your bank account and they pay you. Yeah, eBay does uh, managed payments now, so you don't need a PayPal or anything. eBay handles everything internally. So some people were originally skeezed out, but they were like, I don't want to give eBay my social security number. Well, you have to because they have to report your sales to the IRS. So, yeah, it's nothing to be worried about. Let's see, what am I going to do? I was counting to see how many we had done. You just zoomed in on me as I was drinking. Sorry. I like a Prosecco in the evening, though. This is the Sam's Club brand. It's delicious. <clears throat> I mean, I think we have still a lot more to do. I think we've done 19 things. Are you sure? Pretty sure. I just let me count again. Yeah, 19. So we can do one more. One more thing. You want me to just go ahead and list the there's thing we shouldn't, have, we little, shouldn't have fought? No, there's nothing else. Little bags in there because that has to go in a different bin. But I could put it. You could just put it there. For That's true. Right. No, all the little bags are listed. Did you put them in that bin? No, not yet. They're still in the photo. Oh, okay, okay. I just didn't want you to put them in that bin. Yeah, no, no. No, I mean, do you wait for the money before you ship the item? You wait for the buyer to pay you before you ship it, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and eBay will, I mean, it's usually like a day or two or three, depending on how you have your settings set before you actually get it into your bank account. But eBay, they're not scammy. Like, you'll, the person has to pay eBay before you ship the thing out. Yep, and it tells you right on your screen, yep. ready to ship today. And those are people that have paid. And sometimes your item gets in purgatory. And people don't pay and then you just relist it after four days yep. um i see that you say cage reseller does well reselling plush that's great i am doing a thing tomorrow on i have a bunch of plush uh bags i mean like 20 of them i call them junk bags but it's not junk it's valuable stuff and i'm going to tell you why i picked each bag i did a video like this earlier and we're going to re we're going to circle back so i'm going to tell you why i picked each bag and just by looking in the bag without comping anything. And then I'm going to follow up with some comps and show you how much I think I can make off of them. So we're going to try to film that and as part of the daily grind tomorrow. Yeah, Jennifer, try to do um, one listing on eBay that you know will sell. Like, if you have anything in your house that you know will sell or like, you know, the things with the high sell through rates, like everyone's saying a stitch. If you have a stitch plush, that will sell. If you have a Peter Miller Summer Comfort or an Arcteryx anything or a, I don't know, who just won the Super Bowl? L.A. Rams. Did I get that right? You did. Yes. Uh, if you have that or maybe like a 50 cent t-shirt, something like that that you know will sell right now. Uh, maybe start listing that so you can see how the whole process worked. Or like rig one of us to buy one of your listings so you can see how it how it works i'll buy your listing put some good what do i like cats <laughs> <laughs> if 
you have any children's clothing. Thank you. Oh, she has lots of clothes that will sell. Okay, well, I would start with something with a super high sell through rate so you can immediately get going. So you don't have to wait for it to sell. If you're like comfortable with posh, start with like maybe one to three things. Just so you can get the lay of the land. If you have any baby people clothes, I will buy them, especially if they have a novelty print. I've been putting that out there to the universe, but no one has come to me yet. (laughs) Dang it. I wear petite, extra, extra small, and I'm always looking for novelty prints, ice cream cones, cotton candies, cats, lemonades. I'll take anything. Gretchen had a taxi thing today or a beetle thing. I'll take anything. I don't care. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Biggest beanie boo you ever saw. I thought beanie boos had to be small. Guess not. This one's a Justice exclusive. That's why we bought it. It's actually not worth that much. It's worth a lot, but not as much as I thought. All right, I'm going to the grabs. I have it listed at forty four ninety five. Hey. And it's free shipping. Oh. Yikes. I know. Maybe I'll price it up. Maybe we'll just wait for everybody to sell these off. We'll just yeah. hold it on for the long term. <laughs> Stare, we'll get to stare at his face forever. All right, I'll put it at fifty nine ninety five free shipping. There you go. That's a little better. I think the free shipping is what's going to sell it. Because that thing's huge, and everybody that has shipping is a lot. Yes, Janice, good point. When you first start selling on eBay, you're going to have scammers. Like, a lot of them. They go after, like, first-time sellers. But it's pretty easy to spot like, yeah, you'll get messages like, oh, I really want to buy this. Please contact me at this phone number. Or send me or your send phone me or... an email. Or, uh, yeah, anything where they're trying to get you to contact them off of the site is bad. Um, anytime, if you, yeah, I don't know. Some people still try to pull the, I really like this item, uh, but I want to pay you extra. And then they'll try to give you, like, it's, it's, oh, yeah, the, the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Under her third is that I love that you get bothered with these ones and those ones. <laughs> I flip out in my head. I try not to judge people, but in my head, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> these ones, I'm like. Oh. And then when you say it, you're like, ah. <laughs> I know, because I hear people say it all the day. Yeah. So then I start saying it, and I want to like smack myself in the head. Okay, this one I think I should use the front on picture because you can't see his other eye. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was trying to say, Janice. Thank you. What? Watch out for people who want to pay more than what you're asking. Oh, yeah. That's a red, giant red flag. You just have to get some feedback worked up. We tried to do eBay for approximately six months, and we could not sell anything. Like, not a, not anything, but we yeah. couldn't get any traction. Yeah. And we were like, how do people sell on eBay? We're all pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and then once we got some traction. Listing consistently helped. Oh. Like, you don't have to do a whole bunch, but, like, even two or three, just whatever your number is, just do that same number every day. And we didn't start listing consistently until January one of last year. Yeah, that's when we really made a concerted effort to start like being serious. Yep. Uh, I mean, we were doing YouTube before that, but we were moving, and it was like it was nuts. So we got our office set up for January first. We got the receipt printer, and we really, really nailed it. But then this. As of right now, <laughs> we're almost fifty percent higher than last month, last year's. This month. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Same time last year. Yeah. Yeah. So if you just keep building and building and building, I mean, I think the idea. I mean, we were only listing ten. Then we went to fifteen, and now we're at twenty, and we're twice the sales. It makes sense. It makes yep. total sense. Yep. There's no mystical reseller like mysticism out there. <laughs> it's just like you list more you sell more it's just the numbers how did we learn so much about a wide range of items jennifer wants to know um we just we're naturally curious people i, was I think say the exact same thing. <laughs> i just like to know stuff um that's so funny i was gonna say the exact same thing yeah Dan is a better picker than me. I will tell you that. <laughs> he will pick up stuff that I would never pick up. 
Uh, I think vice versa too. I will pick up stuff he wouldn't pick up. Yeah. I mean, he'll pick up the thing that's been sitting at the thrift store for 17 years. That's like an old crusty case with dust on it and you don't know what it is. And he will figure out what that thing is. (laughs) He will sell it. I am not like that. I'm like, that thing is nasty. I have to clean it. I'm not picking that up. Yeah. So I'm like, ooh, what is that? <laughs> yeah, I would be in a junk bag, like, oh my god, that's a pencil from 1982. I need that pencil. <laughs> so we're just, I don't know. I think we complement each other in that way. Yeah, I but think then so. we also have a lot of stuff because of it. Yeah, we're both curious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and also like, I mean, for like for menswear, in particular for me, like sport coats, like. I, once I was able to figure out that, hey, some of these are worth nice. ridiculous amounts of money, I wanted I to know it. why, you know, and that kind of went down the rabbit hole about, oh, okay, why hand tailoreds are more expensive and what the difference between fully canvassed and half canvassed and uh, just, you know, you just, I go, you go down rabbit holes on stuff that is interesting to you. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, I think it has to do with the fact that we're both artists. I really do. I 100% do. We're yeah. not black and white people. So we like to like stretch our wings in all directions of creativity. And half of that is research and learning and like figuring things out. And and, and we both are very competitive as well in, <laughs> in our own sort of way. Not in like a, I'm going to take you down way. Right. But like, you know, I want to do better for myself. Sure. Yeah. Like, oh, next time I'm going to get the, I'm going to find 10 Brionis next time. Then, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're always trying to top ourselves. And I think that's part of it too. Yep. It's always fun. All right. You ready to get cool. out of here? Yeah, we're done. We got 20 done in in the two hours. There's 47 people here. That's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, we've been thinking, if you guys want us to try to do a later one in the evening for all the West Coast people, let us know. If enough people, I don't think we could do it every night because no, but maybe once in the week or yeah, like and maybe go Friday late on night. a Friday or yeah. something. We're thinking about doing start like, late, go late, like a or just do a three hour on Friday. I think we could do it. Yeah, uh, for everybody because everybody doesn't. Most people don't have to work the next day. True. I don't know. Let us know if Fridays a late one would be good for you. Yeah, because I know a lot of people just got here. Right. We have fifty people right now. Oh my god, this is the most we've ever had the whole night. You might be right about that. So. To me, I think I think it could go a little later. <laughs> For sure. All right. Comments gonna... on the video when it loads, friends. I Yay, love that thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to get out of here. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. And you can watch the replay. Yep. Bye.